with HS2 coming along and the grant support that, that was available really made it you know, an obvious choice for us to opt for going back to native woodland, pause restoration. The benefits of planting woodland on ancient sites to us for the estate is really wildlife conservation, biodiversity and, and landscape as opposed to going back to a commercial woodlands. This site before HS2, it was planted with Japanese larch back in the 70s. Japanese larch grows like corkscrews basically, so it's really poor form anyway. And then the squirrels had made a meal of it, so then we had the decision, do we go back to a commercial conifer crop or do we go back to native broadleaves? The commercial plantations, they aren't dead, they aren't deserts, but the native woodland is much richer. There's a huge variety of species that live in, in the native woodlands. This area in particular is really well used by the public and through lockdown it was really well used. There are hundreds of people using the site. With native woodlands, we'll see a plethora of all different tree species. So you can see oak and birch, quickthorn, hazel, white bean, lots of different tree species. A wide variety of songbirds will move into this site. With, with the songbirds comes uh, more butterflies, lots more insects, the sun hits the ground, birds of prey that come in to follow everything else that moves in. So yeah, the whole, the whole place becomes more vibrant, more rich. The funding through HS2 is, is really important. Anybody that's got an interest in the wood can see the benefits of going back to native woodlands. Uh, for me personally, you know, I get great satisfaction in seeing any plantation that we plant to see it grow and see it, see it thrive. I love the woods, I love the wildlife. To see what's happening here, to listen to the birds, you know, it's, it's, it's hugely satisfying. <laughs>